This is in the sleeping father death case, as Court TV has exclusively, obta uh, exclusively rather obtained the moment that Megan Amirowitz was released from jail. Take a look at this. This happened Tuesday, just hours after a judge sentenced her to one year in prison. She got the credit for the time that she served since her arrest. Megan was greeted here by her brother Ian and her sister Morgan, as well as a family friend. And the timing of her release was such a surprise, our producer had to shoot this video on her phone for us. Merowitz, as you remember, was found guilty of the unlawful use of harmful irritants, chemical drain cleaner that she threw on her dad, mixed it with water uh, in the process, and it resulted in severe burns and ultimately organ failure and his death. Now, earlier, Merowitz cried while she was reading to the judge her statement asking for mercy. And she shared with Court TV, get ready for this, Courty friends, she shared with us that another very well-known inmate helped her write the statement. Jennifer Crumley. That's right, the mother of accused school shooter Ethan Crumley. Yes, Jennifer Crumbly, who's still facing the pending charges, accused of giving her son the gun he used to do that shooting. Apparently, the two of them became good friends, best of friends in the jail. Who would have thought that would have happened? Well, Megan spoke to Court TV, giving us her reaction to the sentence and some insight into what happened the day that she tossed those chemicals on her dad. Let's watch. Tell me what your reaction was when she... Tell me what you were thinking when she pronounced sentenced. I was shocked. I definitely didn't think that she was going to give me a chance, but I was praying for a miracle today, and that's what I got. I was really happy. And why do you think you got the miracle? I think that Judge Valentine is one of those judges that's going to give people chances. I think I got really lucky having her. So tell me what you were thinking when you were giving your statement. Honestly, I I was just in the moment. I wanted every single word to be heard and felt by everybody. Um, writing that took months. And at the very last minute, I finally found the words. So to be able to get those words out it meant a lot to me. A lot was riding on them. So. Did you get any advice from anybody? Um, yes. I, um, I have a best friend that's in jail, and she was with me through this whole thing, and she helped me with it. And who is she? Jennifer Crumbly. Jennifer Crumbly, the mother of Ian Crumbly? And what advice did she give you? She just told me to speak with my heart. She helped me write the things out that I didn't know how to put into words. And what about, you also heard the letter from Austin and your Uncle Thomas. What did you think when they were reading that letter? I was really angry because some of the things in there that they said about me weren't true at all. And I just wanted to stand up and make those corrections, but I was really hurt that my brother acts like he cares about my dad, but he, he's the one who hurt him. The defense didn't offer an alternative theory, so what do you want people to know about that day? I want them to know that I never threw any chemicals at my dad. I would never intentionally hurt my dad, and everything that was ever said about it were lies that I can't believe were told. And knowing that my dad tried to tell them that it wasn't me, I mean, I feel like in the end, my dad always knew that I was gonna come out of this. And that day just, it didn't happen the way that everyone wants to say it is. And he protected you right up until the end, it sounds like. Yeah. And how does that make you feel? It makes me know that he loves me. And how are you going to remember your father, Megan? He's always going to be my best friend and the reason that I wake up every day. And no matter what, I'm going to live this life for him. 
Wow. Okay, we're going to have more of this interview uh, throughout the day. Again, Court TV exclusively interviewing Megan and Merowitz uh, after her release there. Uh, we got that footage. Uh, we're the only ones to get that footage of her coming out uh, of the jail where she made friends with Jennifer Crumbly. How about that? Who would have thought Jennifer Crumbly? Uh, well, we'll be talking more about Jennifer Crumbly. She's going to stay in the jail for now.